Hello, this is Felix from GMWolf. Today, I would like to showcase my brand new program, Shader Maker. I have already made a video on it, however, due to a few major additions in version 2.0 or 0.2, sorry, I decided to make a full on introductory video. Shader Maker allows you to create shaders quickly and easily. It uses a system of nodes where you connect to sockets in order to pass the information, information between them. By default, you have the input node over here and the output node over here uh, already placed in. To create a really simple uh, path through shader you would simply have to connect the input node to the output node like so. Um, in order, as you can see you have a real-time um, feedback of the shader of what the shader is doing under the output node. You can make more complex shader by adding more nodes such as the invert node. The invert node um, will swap the colors around making blue into orange and red into green. So you would just have to connect it over here and there and as again you can see what your shader is doing in real time. Another node is the get RGB node uh, over here. This node will split up the colors in its red, green, and blue components, respectively. You can recombine the colors later on by using a um, make RGB node, simply by connecting all the colors back together, like so. Um, the map node allows you to make some really simple operations. Uh, such as addition, uh, multiplication, subtraction, and division. So let's say I want to uh, multiply my red value by 2. I would just have to take the top value over here, place it back down here, add a value in, place 2, and connect it here. And now I am boosting my red values by 2, theoretically. Um, Finally, you have the mix RGB node, uh, which is quite nice as well. You can see it over here. If I connect this color and this color here, I can mix it to an, any other colors, including the original image. However, if you wanted to, if you wanted to mix it with uh, a blue color, for example, you could place this color node over here and select a blue color and place it in here. This node also requires a factor to uh, determine how much you're mixing the, um, the value by. So I can add a value in. Let's use a factor of 0 0.5 and plug this in over here. Once you're happy with your shader, uh, you can export it by clicking on the top right hand corner over here. This will come up with a copy of your code. Um, it is quite hard to understand because it is machine generated. However, if you press OK, it will copy the code to the clipboard. All that is left to do now is to paste uh, the code inside the fragment part of your shader and it is ready for use. If you want real-time feedback of your shader on another image, you can bring up this tab down here and select an image such as uh, this one, which is a uh, render I made a while back. And if you refresh your nodes by connecting any of the other nodes again, you will see a real-time feedback of what this is doing to your image. So this is all for version uh, 0.2. I hope you will enjoy this program. I definitely put a lot of work into it. And I hope you're making really cool shaders out of it. 